without my background music. What's wrong with me? Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final episode of the MCW Digital Media Matches Murphy and Riley Cups. The semifinals have been set. Your matches are as follows as I will read them right now. Kyluya and Mr. Merv versus Crosswords and AKG. Doom Tunes and Malpal versus Streaming Falcon and Triple Deke. Sparkle Toaster versus Genesis. And Ray Cerrone versus KC. I hope you guys are ready. The winners of these tournaments will go on to the finals, which will be held on MCW's final warning, which will be a couple weeks before MCW's Mango Mania. Final warning will be held. I'm looking at my other cheat sheet. Saturday, October 26th. So I hope you guys are ready. Those matches will be held exclusively on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Ninja Ninja BMF. And on top of that, they will be held inside of the Hell in a Cell stipulation. So enough of me yapping. It's time for us to get to getting. First match, quarterfinal match, Steel Cage Tornado Tag. Crosswords and AKG versus Merv and Kailuya. In order to get here, Kylie and Mr. Merv have beaten the teams of Trashley, Pelican, and O'Reilly, and Cricketune and Dynamungo. Now, their focus is here for the semifinals. You have to understand, though. Oh, not semifinals. Yeah, this is semifinals. Mr. Merv wins here. He goes on the finals. And if he ends up winning the finals, he has to face his tag team. Essentially, it's his stablemates. That a Pion and the Unthinkable Baby. This would be very interesting to have a civil war for the MCW World Tag Team Championships. But we might not have to worry about that situation as AKG and Crosswords step to the case. There's not much you can say. This team has pulled off some pretty big feats. Rusty Ninja and Upgrade, Buzzsaw Iron and Patient Gamer Rob. Quite frankly, the interesting match was the Patient Gamer Rob and Buzzsaw Iron. A low blow, Poison Mist, sorry, Baja Blast Mist. <laughs> and Akin Shaza. AKG essentially made the match end so quickly. I was so in shock. I was so taken aback. I didn't know how to feel. Can he make lightning strike twice and make this match end just like how that happened? I forgot you can you can get win by escaping the cage. Oh god, AKG making his way out of the ring. So is Cross words. Mr. Merv has to pick who he's gonna stop first. He's going for Cross. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh AKG, don't you do this to your tag team partner? AKG, don't you do this to your tag team partner? Oh my god, Kyluya stopping. It could feel only like a betrayal, honestly. AKG's trying to leave. You gotta remember, both, ta both partners have to leave the cave to win. Oh no. Kroz could be in a lot of, in a world of hurt. Kroz now is stuck, locked inside of a steel cage with Merv and Kyluya. I guess Kyluya could try and escape right now and just leave Merv in there with crosswords. I can't believe AKG just did that. Kyluya just still staring. Uh oh. I think Kyluya realized what he can do now. I think Cross just realized that he is in a bad position. AKG got the fuck out. AKG said, I'm not doing this. I'm not dealing with this. Kailuya saying, I'm not doing this. I'm not dealing with this. Merv grabbing on. Oh my god. See, this is why it might have been a bad play by AKG to leave the ring so early. Kailuya making his way out of the ring. And now Mr. Merv just gonna. He's just focusing his attack on Karaz words. 
Oh, Cross out cold. Mr. Murphy continuing the assault. Senton off the top rope. Kylia has escaped. It's down to a 1v1. This is why these tag team steel cage matches are so dangerous. You can quickly go from a two on one situation to a one on one situation. Mr. Merv locked inside that steel cage with crosswords. Dropkick, Cross, bring it back, trying to bring himself back. This is, this is, <laughs> what a, what a debut couple matches for Cross. Locked inside of a steel cage with just Mr. Merv. That is a terrifying thought to be in right now. Wrenching the arm, slamming him down hard. Merv is just going to play with his food, honestly. This is the stiffer Mr. Merv we were talking about. This new G-spot Mr. Merv. He's not the same kind-hearted Merv that he used to be. Now he's more vicious, more destructive, more focused. Even with all that focus, Crosswords punching his way out of that, that situation. Grabbing on to Merv and taking him over to this cage. Well, taking him to the top rope, I mean. Cross going for something big. Two down. One across. Now look at this. Three down. Four across. Locking in a submission. You can win. You can win. Oh, wow. Oh, Merv got out of that. You can win by submission of pinfall still. It'll be interesting to see. Reverse DDT. If either of them opt to go that direction or escape the cage. What is Kroz doing here? Oh, and that was a spear by Kroz. That was a textbook spear. That wasn't even like, uh, like you know, if anything fancy. That was just straight up. I'm going for a spear. Locking in the two down, three across. I know I change up the number every single time, but you know, it's still funny to me. <laughs> crosswords, crosswords. It's, it's funny. <coughs> Oh, Merv into the steel cage. Stomping now into the ankles. Merv kicking out, kicking away from him. And look at this, Cross down. Mr. Merv trying to get out of there. It's officially done dealing with the rookie, and he's on his way up that ring now. Or up that cage, not ring. Cross has to be quick. Mr. Merv on the verge of escaping. Cross quickly punching Murr, stopping any progression out. Now he's, he's dragging him back in. Look at that. He has the leg pulling Mr. Murr back down to the inside. Wow, what a play. Oh, Murr smashed into the cage. Oh, wow. Cross going back in the ring with him. So making an attempt to go out. Ooh, Murr stopped the progression of that Irish whip with the cage. Draw a suplex. Oh, this is an extended suplex. Showing off the strength. Beautiful suplex. Up against the ropes. Drop down goes Cross. Leapfrog goes Cross. Cross now belly to belly, but not really getting a chance. Elbow strike right to the face. Merv laid out by a clothesline. Cross now making his way up the cage. Will this be the end of the semifinal match between AKG and Crosswords and Merv Kailuya? Oh, looks like Merv making his way up to try to stop Cross. He's trying. Oh, whoa. Cross with a kick to the face. Look at that. Cross. Crosswords has he done it. Merv trying to get back up, trying to get back in there. It's too late. AKG and Crosswords moving on to the finals. AKG and Mr. Merv moving on to the finals. Helena Cell waits these two as we just saw. There's no escape from that match. I wonder how AKG will fare in there. Speaking of fairing, steel cage match even in the Murphy side. Race of Roni and Crickets.
ready to have hell. Well, not really hell. Ready to try and st sign their ticket to hell. Race Aroni has has left a pile of sad memories. Zom, Mayor Sheriff, Classic Connor, all with the pursuit to make sure that his match at Mingo Mania stays a singles match. He's in the semifinals here, and he's got himself yet another dream to shatter. Race Aroni out to take the dream of crickets and his first ever opportunity at the MCW World Heavyweight Championship. Will Race Aroni steal that opportunity from him, shatter it down the drain? Or will Crickets, well, or Crickets fulfill his dream? <laughs> they just want the man to fulfill his dream, man. KC has also left a pretty sizable mountain of people behind him. Daddy Dino, Tormi, Salty Jarvis. Crickets has one dream, that's become the MCW World Heavyweight Champion, and he is making it his determination to make that become a reality. Less of a dream, more of a reality. And that flip, somehow he has like a secret hole in that cape causing it to be kind of like a rope, covering up the fact that he might or might not have his pants still on. Steel cage, escape the cage, make your opponent pin, get pinned or, you know, tap out. Your choice, not mine, I don't care. Do whatever you gotta do. Win the match. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I was gonna say, please tell me that's not it. Rickets with a hellacious spear out of the gate. Exactly who did a Tormi. What he tried to do versus Salty. Like I, said, like I said, he has a dream and it is to just get... <laughs> it's to cause pain. Oh, Crickets doesn't want to escape the cage? I guess not yet. I guess he might think that he might not be able to do it yet. Oh, well, he might not be able to do it after a suplex like that. In the corner goes Crickets. And a DDT delivered to Ray Cerrone. Crickets with a big kick to the gribs. Gribs the gribs. Stomping on the elbow. Crickets is manipulating all the body parts. He's already hit a massive KC Spear to start this match off. Now he just, he just picking at the bones of Ray Cerrone. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's using his ring gear, which has a little bit of metal on that 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 wrist strap to scrape at the face of Race Aroni and a big boot. Oh my God, Crickets is determined here. Oh, he's taking out the arm. If he can't climb, ooh, this is smart. He can't chase him. He can't climb to escape. It's a smart play by Crickets, but a dragon corkscrew leg sweep. Crickets being lifted up by by Race. Race dragging crickets over the corner, smashing him into the turn turnbuckle. Up the top rope, jumping bulldog. Race going for the pin. Kick out at one. Oh my brother. Elbow. Crickets rolling out of the way. Oh. By any means necessary. KC wants to make his dream all reality, and that low blow says it all right there. Crickets going on to the finals. Woo!
Meanwhile, Doom Tunes and Malpal have themselves a high. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, these low blows have been out of control, man. There's been a lot of low blow endings. Mal and Doom Tombs, a very interesting team. They haven't really found their true, like, meshing of coercion yet. But they've beaten the team of Chonka Tonka Joe and Control Issues and Rager Brian and Wooch. Can they continue the success into the Steel Cage match? Where well, they have themselves the Haluchadors to take care of. Well, the Haluchadors seem to be too much for the scariest man on Twitch. And now, pal. The nicest person on Twitch. The scariest man and the scariest, the, the nicest, the nicest woman and the scariest man on Twitch. Team scary and nice, nice and scary. And now on the other side of things, the Haluchadors have taken out the teams such as Calvin Not Klein and Miss Witch and the Realm Crawlers. They, I mean, honestly, it's hard for me to say that these two do not have the highest chance because they took out an actually established tag team in the Realm Crawlers, a like former tag team champions at that. This could potentially be their opportunity to really shine bright like a diamond, literally. Falcon and Deke. Deke and Falcon. Flying high and setting milestones. Semi-final Riley Cup match. Winners to fake on, fake on, face on, face off. Oh my God. Against Cross and AKG. Falcon with a beautiful diving headbutt deliver straight to Mal. Oh my God. Is that, are we going for a D20 already? D20 to Deke. Beautiful springboard moonsault. Falcon. Oh, he's going to stop that immediately. Oh, Doom Tunes fighting off Falcon. Uh oh, Falcon can hit with an axe handle. Looks like everybody's starting to come back to life a little bit after that exchange, the D20 and everything. Mal going after Deke, Deke getting dropped down hard. Falcon getting sent right into oh, the steel cage. Mal doing the smart thing. She wants to get out of there. Unfortunately, that's not great if you're Doom Tunes. You don't want your tag team partner to be, the, be out of there so quickly. So it's a two on one situation. But Falcon, oh wow, large man, huge stunner. Deke and Mal having themselves a nice little war with Haluchador. Oh, wow. It's beautiful suplex and then a beautiful standing moonsault. Springboard. Oh, my God. Was that a springboard broken arrow? I almost called it a falcon. It was a falcon arrow, wasn't it? It was a falcon's arrow. Oh, big clothesline into the steel cage. Oh, gosh. Triple Deke making a statement there against Mal. With modified crab of sorts. Ooh, nice takedown by Mal. Big boot by DT. Oh, Falcon sent into that cage again. You're going to get your welts there, you newbie. DT is delivering those welts the Lord of Falcon here tonight in this steel cage match. And you know. Oh. If somebody that will deliver, it would be DT. Oh, Falcon trying to stop DT from escaping. Oh, DT, why are you trying to fight? Oh, wow. Mal trying to stop him from stopping DT. 
And now Mount. Oh, wait, no, she's not trying. I thought she was also trying to escape. Oh! Pen pals from Mal. Mal just wrote you a pen pal letter, and now Falcon feeling the wrath of the steel cage once again. Mal, oh my god, with the big power bomb. Mal's trying to escape. <laughs> well, Deke has Doom Tunes in his grasp. Uh oh. Oh, I was gonna say another D20 might be a. Oh, <clears throat> the Fiend. Deke gonna try and impede the progression of Mal while DT tried to stop both of them. But Falcon delivering on Falcon's wings? On Falcon's wings. Oh, and there's the stream kick. Or streaming on Twitch, more like it. Falcon's lining something up. Oh, there it is, the Falcon Talon. And a huge dropkick. He connected with Triple D too, but he made more progression, more contact on the Mal. Oh, Deke is definitely feeling that one. But well, they 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 kiss boots. I love it. You love it when they got a kitten to kiss the booties. Doom Tune sending Falcon in the corner. Doom Tune scooping up Falcon, tying to the tree of woe. Whoa. Oh, this ain't good for Triple Deke. Oh, Kamora. Oh God. Fortunately for Triple D, he doesn't have to let that go. There are no pinfall submissions in a tag team steel cage match. It's just escape. It's just <laughs> escape. Oh, face first. A little bit of snake eyes from Doom Tunes. And Doom Tunes doing this. Well, a smart play for Doom Tunes, getting out of the ring as fast as possible. Mal has Triple D up on the shoulders. She drops him face first on that top turnbuckle. Now going after Falcon. Wow, Mal being a team player, just letting DT escape while she just is now to be locked in to a two on one situation. He's keeping them at bay. She's keeping the numbers go while well, she was until, oh my God. Until that roundhouse kick to the back of the head landed flat. Well, Falcon had his eyes on DT and not on Mal, who just palled out. Mal taking Deke over the corner. This could be Mal's opportunity. If she can, oh well, she could have knocked out Triple Deke here, but. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, Poison Rana. Triple Deke. Well, I was going to say, I think Falcon got in the way of the situation, but reality is um, he didn't. It was more Triple Deke miscalculated. Falcon Splash. It was a Phoenix Splash. My bad. Springboard Phoenix Splash, not Falcon Arrow earlier. The big splash from Triple Deke. Falcon trying to make his progression out of the ring while well, Triple Deke is keeping Mal at bay with these jumps off the top rope. Oh my God. Triple Deke. Triple Deke. No, Deke with another sent on. He's making sure Falcon is guaranteed to get out of the ring. This is what it is like to be a tag team. And they're working well together, honestly. Other than that one miscommunication early in the match, Shining Wizard, Triple Deke, letting Stream Falcon get out of the ring. Now he's got to take his opportunity. Why are you not trying to escape? Oh, big splash. Actually, medium splash. It was on the middle rope, not the top rope. Another medium splash? What are you, Triple D? Get out of there, dude! Triple D making an interesting choice here. Going for the Exploder dropkick off the middle rope. Triple D, Triple D, dude! You've made your... Oh, see, now, now you cost yourself. You might just cost you and Falcon the opportunity because you were so bloodlust. The bloodlust. What a beautiful Hurricane Rana, though. Triple D, you gotta escape, dude. I think Mal is actually kind of ex ex Jesus. Oh. 
What? What is it enough? Tri triple Deke. Deke seems like he's a man possessed right now. I've never seen this side of Triple Deke. This defense in this point, Mal is actually getting back up immediately, but I think that's just, she's just, I think it's adrenaline right there. Big scoop body slam. Dude, triple deke. That senton once again. Again, you can't win by pinfall or submission. Triple deke is just, is just attacking Mal power right now. This is a brutalization of Malpal, and I'm, I, I don't, I, I don't like this. This is upsetting me. This is legit, that was just legitimately upsetting. He better be escaping. I hope Malpal gets up and knocks him off, honestly. I don't think Malpal's getting back up, though. I think he kind of brutalized Malpal for far too long, in my opinion. What a brutal display by Triple Deke. Oh, Mal, just a little too late. The Haluchadors go on to the finals. They meet Kroz and AKG there. A weird brutalization, again, unexpected of Triple D to be that brutal towards Malpal in that match. But, and gentlemen, our final semi-final match is going to be starting here in like a couple seconds, actually. It is Sparkle Toaster versus Genesis inside a steel cage. I was ready this time. I was ready for it. No YouTube magic, mostly, for this, this part. Let's take a look at his past bracket. He's beaten down Amy. Controversial asterisk next to the victory against Tanuki Juke and Green Eggs. The reason the Tanuki Juke asterisk. Tanuki Juke got a pin right in front of the referee who refused to go for the pin uh, count. She just stared at him as he was pinning him. She didn't try. She was day. She just she was just sitting there. Just not even trying to count. Controversial victory is among this man. Now he has a chance to rectify that a little bit inside of a steel cage. But can he do it? And meanwhile, his opponent, and in my statement, the entire tournament so far, you know, we're, we'll see the finals. You know, we still got this match. Jen has had the best match of the entire tournament versus Pluto. Ben goes off the best alliteration match versus Ben. Put the spoiler out of business, taking out Joe Hendry. Jen has had a historic tournament run here tonight. Can she continue it and finalize it and put herself in the finals against KC? Or will spoil or spoiler or will Sparkle Toaster spoil that situation for her? Jen is focused and ready to go. I'm excited. That's for sure. Jen is ready. Jen is vicious. Jen is determined. She wants her opportunity to the heavyweight title, and she knows she has to get it by going through Sparkle Toaster. The cage is lower. Escape the escape the cage. Pinfall submission 
How will this end? Spiral Toes are coming in hot with a clothesline, taking Jen down. Jen rolling out of the way quickly. Oh, wait, that, no, that was, just, that was a rolling kick. I thought that was the spark kick. No, that was just a rolling kick. They got a one. Thought we were getting an early spark kick. Jen midsection kicks at Sparkle, bouncing off the ropes, forearm strike, taking down Sparkle. You gotta remember, these, these, the, both competitors have been going at this all night because of this tournament's all one day. Quickly, Jen hitting the start of the end. Big forearm strike, Sparkle. Oh, you think I'm tired? They're probably 10 times more tired than I am. Kick to the side of the head. Sparkle, leg drop. Up and over, over the castle neck breaker. Here we go, Jen on the ropes. Ooh, elbow strike. Knocking back and a big clothesline. Jen trying to get momentum built up quickly. Oh, here we go. Speaking of momentum quickly, it's the Exodus. Ooh, only a one count. Ooh, elbow strike. Sparkle toaster. Big elbow taking Jen down again. Oh my god, a super kick. Sparkle toaster. Lining something up. Spark! Kick! Oh no! Kick out two. That spark kick wasn't enough to spark the victory, but it was enough to spark some blood coming out of Jen's head. Bulldog. Oh, now Sparkletoes looks like he wants to escape the. Oh no, he doesn't. Dropping the leg. Oh my goodness. Portal tells does the final space, KC. Woo -wee. Sparkle Toaster on his way to the finals. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the MCW Digital Media Matches, the Murphy and Riley Cups here on Twitch. If you want to see the finals, make sure to tune in for October 26th, Saturday, uh, for MCW Final Warning. We got final MCW event before our big event at Mango Mania. That's November. That is November 9th, is when that event is. So that's two weeks prior. So if you guys want to catch the finals, the Hell in a Cells matches, you gotta tune in live. Twitch.tv slash GingerWMF. But if you like these matches, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. And regardless of what it is, I hope you had a great time watching all these matches. And we hope to see you guys live on Twitch. But you can also catch multiple different VODs and such here on YouTube. New York original content coming soon, probably. All right, regardless, I'll see you guys later. Peace.